Some breaking news tonight. A South Korean official spoke at the White House just now on news regarding relations with the U.S. Good evening, I'm Mike Riccardi. And I'm Josh Carney. Reports are saying the South Koreans delivered a letter from North Korean leader Kim Jong-un to President Trump. The letter reportedly invites Trump to a meeting on the DMZ. On Tuesday, National Economic Council Director Gary Cohn resigned. This comes only days after President Trump announced his plans to implement tariffs on aluminum and steel imports. Following several resignations in the White House, it is believed that Cohn's is directly related to Trump's policy decision. It appears that Cohn has left the White House on good terms, however, as Trump stated he would like to have Cohn back in his administration in the future. Earlier today, former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort pleaded not guilty to conspiracy, tax, and bank fraud. Manafort now will wear two electronic monitoring bracelets, one for the special counsel Robert Mueller's case in Washington, D.C., and a new one for his recent charges in Virginia. Originally, in both cases, Manafort was indicted with a former Trump campaign aide, Rick Gates. However, Gates pled guilty and will cooperate with Mueller. And joining us now with the latest on the breaking news tonight of, in regards to South Korea is Talking Points analyst Dan Prager. Dan, thanks so much for joining thanks us. Thanks for having me. And did you see this coming? Diplomacy is moving so fast at this point. It's amazing. I mean, you know, there's so much made about what was happening at the Olympics. And the real question, I think, was how much could actually come out of this. Now, right. some details for us tonight is President Trump has been invited to the DMZ. And North Korea is saying that they will suspend their nuclear program during any talks that may take place. Dan, how far do you think this relationship can move forward from this point? Well, Trump said he will accept, at least that South Korean official that just spoke said he would. Um, they were supposed to meet by May. And I think, honestly, this is a very good first step. Like you were saying, the Olympics. I mean, talk about the world coming together. Really good sign for the IOC. If but what does it ultimately mean that they are committed to denuclearization? How does that impact global policy? You know, I, they can say they're committed to denuclearization, but but they have to show it first. Right. Um, and I, I think that's really the hard part. The South Koreans have opened the door here. Their policy talks, their diplomacy talks have opened the door for the U.S. to come in. Now Trump has to prop that door open, keep it open, and make sure that we can actually move forward on peace talks. This is going to be his major statement probably until 2020 on what he can do for foreign policy. But what does policy. moving forward look like for the Trump administration? What do you think is the play here for them? I mean, I'm not 100% sure. I, this is pretty unexpected. We're going to have to see where that goes. I would assume that the president will go out and will talk and say, hey, we are, we are committed to bringing you back into the global sphere, bringing you back into the world. Just decommit to nukes and, you know, feed your people, stop the human rights violations, and we can work together. Well, something that I find particularly interesting, right, is that, you know, it's been tumultuous for President Trump in the White House recently with so many people resigning, hope picks being the most recent announcing her future resignation. This could be a huge win for President Trump. Absolutely. But I think the ultimate question, right, is how much can you actually trust right. Kim Jong-un? Uh, and that, that's a really hard one to do, especially with Trump and Un and Kim fighting so much, you know, he called him little rocket man for the longest time. And, and I think that's the big issue, is that really this is already a huge win for Trump. Expect his poll numbers to go up huge in the next couple of days. But it's really the South Koreans that open the door. Credit to President Trump for really o helping them with that. Mm -hmm. But it comes down to what he can do in the upcoming months if he is able to kind of keep the peace with Kim Jong-un. Both of them have a very similar mindset. They're very unpredictable. So it'll be interesting to see if they can actually kind of join together. Well, this is just the beginning, obviously, of the breaking news tonight. Dan, thanks so much for being here. And we're going to make sure that we follow this all the way Absolutely. through. Absolutely. Thanks for having thanks. me.